have the very long-awaited room tour. Uh, trying out a new foundation today and I feel like I literally look like I just got back from the Bahamas. So super quick intro and then we're gonna get into it. If you guys saw my last room tour in our old apartment in Seattle, I was basically living in the living room. Since then we have moved out of that place. I now have a room with walls and a door. It is magical. Basically when we moved in here I put everything together and like got everything set up myself and it just never felt right. Like I felt super crammed. I literally had like two feet to film between my bed and the desk. I started reading The Life-Changing Art of Tidying Up, which is a book you can get on Amazon. It's like a bestseller. And I got 30 pages in and it wasn't even like what he said. I just all of a sudden felt like super motivated to basically run through all of my stuff, got rid of like 10 trash bags worth of stuff. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw all of this. I basically went through a major decluttering thing and it feels so freaking good to only have the things that you actually need and actually use. So I basically rearranged my entire room. I have so much more space now. I literally can't even believe this is the same room. Like I could do freaking Jillian Michaels right here. I could do yoga if I was into that. There is so much room that was just taken up by furniture before. I just feel like it's finally come together. It feels a lot. It just feels good in here and I really like it. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So once I decided what I was getting rid of, I donated a bunch of stuff and then I've also been checking out Garage Sale, which is an app or you can go on the website and do it, which is basically like a local, safe, family-friendly app where you can buy and sell things. I like it because you have to be Facebook verified. It's not like you're like trying to buy or sell something from someone creepy on Craigslist. They're very verified people, you can buy makeup on there, like there's clothes, makeup, tons of home stuff, especially in Seattle there's like a ton of home stuff. There are thousands of local communities on there, so if you're wondering if it's in your area, it probably is. It's totally free to use, they don't take any fees or commissions, so you guys should check it out. I'll leave a link for their app down in the description box. So basically once I decluttered and sold my stuff and got everything out, I completely rearranged my room and finally got everything clutter free and just how I originally wanted it. So if you are excited to see this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you join the Bayrito family and click the subscribe button down below. So uh, let's get into it. All right, room tour. This is the door that you walk in. I have my ring light on right now because this room is freaking dark. The ring light you can get on Amazon. My tripod I also got on Amazon. I pretty much order like 99% of my stuff from Amazon because it is amazing. As I go through everything, I'm gonna link as much stuff as possible in the description box down below if you're curious. So let's start with like the bed area. This bed frame is from Wayfair. It's like a faux leather white and it actually looks pretty good quality for the price. It was super affordable. The bedspread is from, I wanna say overstock.com. White bedding is a freaking challenge. There's definitely multiple stains being hidden over on that side. So just keep that in mind if you're getting white bedding. This pillow right at the front, this crisscross one, is from Hobby Lobby and the pillow behind it. I got a consignment store, but I think it was originally from like West Elm or Z Gallery or something. I've seen that pillow a lot before. So by my bed, I have this tiny little mini nightstand. I am going to be getting a different nightstand. This one I got from Ross for like $8 or $12 and I basically just repainted the legs. I repainted the legs gray so that it matches the rest of my theme and then the top of it is just a wood kind of fake wood material. On my nightstand, since it's pretty small, there's not a whole lot I can put on here, but I basically just have my water bottle, whatever book, and then a fake plant. And I'm all about the fake plants. I can't keep things alive, so I have like 10,000 fake plants in here. Moving over to this wall, I have a floating shelf, and all of the floating shelves in my room are from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or something for three of them, which is really good. I just really like the look of floating shelves. I think it makes everything look a lot more clean, especially white on white. So all three things on the floating shelf are from Hobby Lobby. The first thing on the left is the fake plant and I still need to get a little thing for that but I kind of like the way it looks with just the black pot. In the middle is a marble, fake marble thing which I'm obsessed with. If you follow me on Snap you saw my whole Hobby Lobby adventures but they basically had this whole section with marble stuff. They had a marble pumpkin. I had to stop myself but it was amazing. Hobby Lobby is a really good place to find affordable decor. Never buy anything full price there. They pretty much always put everything half off. Then on the right hand side is also a little thing from Hobby Lobby. I love geometric kind of shapes and you can put a little tea light in here. And then up above to the left is just a mirror. And I think that was from Ross or TJ Maxx. So then to the right is my window seal, nothing super exciting. 
I actually look straight into another building, so the view from my room isn't super glorious, so I usually just keep the blinds open so like some light's coming through, but I don't really fully open the blinds. I think I want to add curtains right here because I just feel like it would make it look a lot nicer. Another fake plant. I freaking love this. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was like 60 bucks, which is pretty good for an artificial plant, and it actually looks pretty real Like if you get up close. Let's just get up close because I want to show you. It actually looks pretty real, right? I think so. I don't really like color, clearly. I'm all about black and white and gray, so plants are a good way for me to add some color and like life to the room. So this dresser I actually painted myself from Ikea. First I stained the wood kind of a golden tone, which is what was in my last room tour video. And then when we moved apartments here, I put a gray stain over the top of that. So that's what you're seeing here. It's kind of like a mix of different stains. And then I put a glossy finish over the top. The knobs I got from Hobby Lobby, changing out the knobs on Ikea stuff is a really great way to make it look a lot nicer than it actually is. So on top of my dresser, I basically keep all of my random things that I use every day, plus some perfumes, and then all of my camera stuff, which I also pretty much use every day. So when I'm not filming on this camera, this is where this camera chills. I got this marble thing from Ross for like $5, and it's actual marble. It's like super heavy. And then over here, this is kind of not that exciting. I basically have all of my setting sprays that I use and switch off between. Then I have 5,000 deodorants. Why do you need three different deodorants, who knows. This is really random, but let me know what your guys' favorite deodorant is down below. I always have issues with like white getting all over my clothes, so let me know what the best one is down below. Then I have some perfumes that didn't fit on the floating shelves, and I'm pretty sure this tray I got at Home Goods a while ago, like a long ass time ago, and it's just a mirrored tray. Moving along, we have my desk area over here. Let's start with what's above my desk. So above my desk are two paintings and this mirror, and this is actually what used to be centered above my bed, so my bed head frame used to be right here below these paintings, but that's why these are hung kind of weird between the desk and the dresser. I might move them, but I'm just gonna have like giant holes in my wall. So the two paintings I got from Etsy, if I still have the Etsy seller, I'll link it down below. This decorative mirror in the middle I got from Wayfair. Wayfair has super awesome affordable home stuff. If you've never checked it out before, you should. So below my desk, I just have my trash can, super exciting, and then plugs, and that's pretty much all of my camera plugs under there. So the desk I have is from Ikea. It's just a black two-drawer desk. I feel like it gives some nice contrast between all of the white stuff over here. So on my desk right now, we have some coffee. Over here is my diffuser. I got this off of Amazon, and this is like the prettiest one I could find, and it got really good reviews so far. I've been loving it. I've been using it every day for the past few weeks. I've just been trying this out for my migraines. I have two different oils right now, Head Ease, which is like a, a blend. All right, I cannot get this to focus with one hand. There we go. I just ordered a few more oils online, so we'll see how that goes. I usually set it on intervals, and then I put it on an hour, and if you want to, and there, there it is coming out. If you want to, you can even put this on color. It changes colors, sets the mood. This lamp I got from Ross. I actually use this lamp a lot because I feel like it gives the room a nice, more warm light, which is good for the nighttime. I usually turn off the overhead light and just keep this on at night. Next that is this white container from Ikea. And this basically just moves around on my desk and this is where I keep all of the makeup that I want to try out. I'm either planning on reviewing or I just haven't used it in a while or I just want to try out. Then I have my two ginormous Morphe brush holders. These have a mix of Morphe brushes and my other favorite brushes. I did a whole must-have brush video, which I'll link down below, but that goes through all of my most used brushes and which ones are worth it. Then I have my mirror. This also moves around, obviously, as I'm doing my makeup. And then behind that is just my snowball mic, and this is what I use to record voiceovers and things. You can get that on Amazon, too. And then next to it, I have a candle that was lit. Where did that go? Okay. Bad beauty guru. Since there's not a whole lot of storage in this desk, I needed to get some kind of storage for underneath it. I actually don't like the way this looks because I feel like it's just it shows everything. But basically in here I just have random office things, pills, notebooks, paperwork. I got this chair on Amazon and then this little rug that I have draped over it was from Hobby Lobby. So coming up top we have more floating shelves with perfume. These are some of my most used favorite perfumes. I did a whole perfume collection video. Alien is the one I'm most obsessed with right now. It smells amazing. Escada Into the Blue is another favorite, but I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued. I love the way the perfume looks on the floating shelves, and I feel like it adds some color. So moving over into this corner, this is basically where I keep all of my makeup. 
I did a makeup collection video if you missed that. It's pretty much the same except I added this section to the left for some more storage. I'm not going to go through all the makeup and everything because I did a whole video on that, but this is basically two Alex 9 drawers from Ikea stacked on top of each other. Or not the Alex 9 drawer, the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. This little thing to the left is Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and I think it's supposed to be like a bathroom storage thing, but it's basically one of those pieces that I've had with me since college, and I've just kind of moved it to each apartment and kind of repurposed it. So right now I just have really random stuff in there. So this unit thing right here is from Zara Beauty Box. I like it. I've had this for a while now. I love the crystal knobs on here and just a good way to store some of your makeup that looks nice. Like I love having the liquid lipsticks out front. And then on the top is all the foundation that I need to review. This thing basically opens up that way. This is my jewelry that I get from Roxbox and I just like to keep it on top so I don't forget to return it when I'm done wearing it. Okay, so on top of my makeup storage, I have some random stuff. Let's start with on the wall. So on the wall on the left, I think that one is from Wayfair. On the right is my 100,000 subscriber play button. I basically didn't want to have all of my brushes on my desk because it just looked super cluttered. So I have my most used brushes on my desk and then this is where I store all of my other makeup brushes. So these marble containers are actually toothbrush holders from H&M. If you've never shopped on H&M, their home section is amazing and it's affordable. This fake plant is from Ikea. Doesn't look the most real, but it adds some green. I don't remember where this lipstick holder was from. I think Hot Look or something. This is where I keep my most worn jewelry. The rest of my jewelry is actually stored in here in one of the bottom drawers. But this is where I keep my like everyday jewelry and just things I need to reach for. Also just random perfume and chargers and things. And this bowl was actually gifted to me by Soap and Glory, which is really nice. And I just love this rose gold coppery bowl. So over here is my closet. Here's the inside of my closet that has been majorly decluttered and reorganized thanks to my roommate. Here are all my shoes. I have two of these shoe racks. I need to get something to store all of my like workout shirts and PJ shirts. That's basically what's in that container. And I pretty much have uh, all black and white clothing. And then on the top, this would bother me. And then on the top is swimsuits and scarves. That box to the left is all makeup that I keep for giveaways. This closet is actually pretty big and I do have more storage under my bed which is where I keep a lot of stuff but this is like a lot more organized than it used to be. The right that is just my mirror. I got this from Ross. I always keep this letter. This was from Amber and she sent me this when I reached 100,000. Thank you so much. I look at this every day and I love seeing this letter here. Then we have a hamper, super exciting, and then there's the door to go out. And my tripod is usually not right there, but we're filming right now. So I think I covered everything. Am I missing something? That was actually pretty fast, I feel like. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out my makeup collection and all of my other collection videos, which I'll link down below in the description box, along with all of the products that I can find that I talked about. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.